Well, this is gonna be an interesting one. This is gonna be the last review of today. Um, nostalgia. What can I say about nostalgia? It's a good feeling to reflect on the good things that happened to you in the past. This is, gives me a lot of nostalgia. This is my old self mock, my very, very old self mock from about 2012, I believe. Of course, this is not the exact thing, but it's pretty darn close. Well, no, it's not close at all. This is Decoro, everyone. My old, 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 old self mock. Long before Arsenal. What can I say about this guy? Like, really? Gosh, the nostalgia with this. I remember imagining, like, a huge stop-motion series centered around this guy when I was, like, seven or something. <laughs> this dude, I, I swear, the nostalgia, so, yeah. Uh, this is not a new walk, um, but I wanted to do this video because I've been feeling nostalgic for this dude lately. And a few days ago, I decided to, like, rebuild him, kinda. Yeah. Um, let's just go over the, like, real-world backstory of this guy, so, it was around, uh, I don't know, 2014 or something, so, no, 2012, I'm sorry, um, you know, I'd gotten into Hero Factory, and I thought it was something really cool, I loved Hero Factory, and then, I found out Bionicle existed, I did some research about it. And that's when my true childhood began, basically. And, you know, um, I ordered a few of the old sets, the Baki, um, the 2010 Rakshi, a couple of the Tome Vika, and I got several Titans in the cave that I was stupid enough to take apart. Got Axon, Bataka, um, Hydraxon, and Max Lose and Finax. And I was so stupid to take those apart. But before that, my friend... Uh, it was in the Bionicle. He actually, um, gave me the Silver Mask of Light. And this was in, like, 2012. So, I thought, man, my friend just gave me this awesome Bionicle piece. This is so cool. And then the thought came in mind, why not make my own Bionicle? Oh, and I forgot to mention, he also gave me a headpiece. The exact headpiece you see right there. So I, like was so excited I was gonna make my very own Bionicle. So I took apart for Inferno, um, from Breakout, a couple other sets. And I made this red and silver dude. He had one foot that was a claw, one foot that was a shoe. Like he was half monster, half normal. And I was really then creative with names, so I like saw the region Takoro, I just sped that up. That is name. Here he is. Mm, I swear, like, I legit would plagiarize off people's um, Bionicle stories and just replace their main character with him and just, like, play around. And I loved it. And I love this mock. And I still love this mock. And this is honestly a very emotional video for me. I don't know why, it just kind of is. Just this mock, man, this is just... The memories. I, I, I love it. So let's get into his actual. Well, no, I'm not done with the like real world backstory yet. So I went through a couple iterations, and eventually I decided I wanted to ditch the red in his color scheme and just give him black and a tiny, tiny bit of silver. So it was something very similar to this that I had, except more silver. Um, finally I decided I just wanted black with the silver bokeh, and then the final version was basically just this but without the new Star Wars pieces on his legs. And without the Captain Phasma cape. It was like the same cape Arsenal had from, Port from Inferno XL. And yeah. I just... I don't, I don't know what to say. This is a very emotional video for me. I... Like... Uh, yeah. There's really a lot to say in that department. So, the mock itself is a simple Anika torso with Isabia Slim and, of course, the silver Revoki mask. 
and of course the Captain Phasma cape. It's extremely simple, but if I wanted to make it more complex, I of course would. So I'm keeping it this way, and I'm not going to change it. What he's going to do is go back story. So, Takoro here used to be Makuta, actually. And his backstory recycles several things from real YouTubers like things, so you know, like. <laughs> used to be obsessed with things. So, it was a Makuta, originally. Like the ones in Cardanui, like in Traz and. and but like, kind of like them. And he wore a mask that looked very similar to the Mask of Light, obviously. His mask isn't the Mask of Light, it's just supposed to look very similar. So eventually, uh, he was the first Makuta. Like legit went crazy and wanted to have a lot of carnage and stuff. So he just that. Uh, went all berserk and stuff. Killed a bunch of all the drone. And then Toa, of course, had to stop him from doing this. And he brought him to the light side. He had his own Toa team and everything. I didn't even make mocks up. Like, there was Bakara, I think was her name. Toa of like volumes and like how full something is. It was like legit just his name was Rocco Toa of Dirt. Like he was the Toa of Shadow also. Like eventually at one point, like in the story, like he got converted back into a Makuta. Then back into a Toa, obviously. But yeah. That's really all there is to his backstory. Yeah, that's really all I wanted to do in this video is just explain to you all who this is. And now what it means to me. Obviously, he's since been replaced with Arsenal. Not replaced, I don't want to use that term. Like, Arsenal's taking the spotlight. And I'm hoping to make him into a real actual character in the new stop motion series I'm working on. So yeah, that's really all I wanted to say. Thank you all for watching as usual. And... Sakura right here. So yeah, that that's it.